Siphon, like the gorilla, represents a real person. But in this case, she represents customers, but not the kind of customers you want to have. Siphon knows the phrase, the customer is always right, and she's weaponized it. She uses it against your business by making bizarre demands, asking you to do things that you normally don't do. Can you change your contract to accommodate me? Could you just add this in? Whenever you hear this phrase, you know that you're working with a siphon. Can't you make an exception? Exception to what? To the way we do business. Don't do it. Let me give you an example of a company that never ever gives in to siphons. How many of you belong to the Church of I? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Apple, the iPhone, the I everything. You worship at the altar of Steve Jobs because it is just amazing everything that they do. Okay? I saw that you raised your hand right there. You got a Mac, right? See, now a Mac is just amazing. It, 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 it's so easy to use. It, it, it has hardly any problems. If I need support, I can just get it instantly. What if I told you I can get all those things and I don't have a Mac? It's true. I have a Zydax. They build the most powerful gaming rig in history. <laughs> and if I need help, they have a unlimited lifetime warranty. They will take care of me. It's far better than an apple. Or is it? What's the difference between him and me? I am a, I'm a gamer, I'm a geek. What do they like to do with their computers? Yeah, I want to customize it. I want to modify it. I want to do something different with it. What happens if I try to do that with an apple? <laughs> right? Ever heard of bricked iPhone? That's an example of a geek in the wrong place, of being a siphon to Apple. And if I go into Apple and I say, you know what, you guys need to change things up. You need to make it different for me. Can't you make an exception? What do they say? Very politely, why don't you go over to the Microsoft store, right? Go somewhere else, which is what you should do with those customers. These guys are killing it, Zydax. And they're a small business. They are beating Apple because they cater to their most valuable customers. And they do not deviate from that. Your most valuable customers aren't just the profile of a customer. They're the profile of the customer who buys the most of your most valuable line. The most valuable line leads to the most valuable customer. I'm building a chain of three here for your marketing, okay? And you find out who those people who buy that line and you go to town on researching them. You find out everything that you possibly can. In the past, it used to cost you tens of thousands of dollars to do it. Now, I just friend them. Dave Crenshaw is a top rated speaker on productive leadership. He provides keynote addresses and workshops for events around the world. To inquire about Dave's availability for your event, visit davecrenshaw.com forward slash speaker.